It's the hug going viral, the incredible moment captured on a DOT camera. A Raleigh police officer embracing a man who was close to taking his own life. Andrea Blanford talked to the officer this afternoon. She joins us live with more. Andrea? Yeah, Tisha, Officer Dan Hicks says every officer has his or her own thing that compels them to do this job, that motivates them to do this. He says he just happens to be a people person. He prides himself on that and works hard at it every single day. For him, there's no such thing as being a police officer unless it's a compassionate one. Uh, to Raleigh police to... officer Dan Hicks, saving someone's life was another day on the job. My wife asked me why I was late coming home. I said I had a late call. That late call, a cry for help from this man, spotted by one officer who radioed others to come rushing to the 440 bridge over Wade Avenue. Hicks says he happened to be the first one to reach him. I introduced myself by my first name, and at that point we were just two people. In my mind, I'd already made the decision that he was coming over to my side of the bridge. The six-year veteran of the force says he's been in similar situations before, so he knew what to do. Feeling the weight of this man's life on his shoulders, he told him he was there to help. Thankfully, he took uh, my compassionate statement to say, you can come back over the other side of this bridge with me. But watch closely. It doesn't stop when that man's feet hit the ground. Officer Hicks pulls him in. Looked like he was in a position where he needed it. And it's okay to give a guy a hug. I really believe that. An emotional embrace that lasts several seconds. When I was pulling in, him in tight, and I, the only thing that I said to him was that you're okay. And it's over. Some people have called you an angel. Some people have said you're the chosen one to be there in that moment. That's uh, maybe a, a little bit polite and maybe a little overextended, but sure. While he didn't even know the video captured on an NCDOT camera aired on ABC 11 that night, or that thousands of people across the country had shared this story on social media, Officer Hicks says he's just glad this call ended the way he had hoped it would. He was, he was in a very dire position, and I think he had some very um, bad thoughts going through his mind about how he felt about himself, um, but I also think he wanted help. And Officer Hicks says that he hopes that man is now receiving the treatment he needs. He wants to meet with him again someday. And for now, he says he's just glad this story is showing people who may need to seek help for themselves that there are proper routes to take and there are resources available to them. We're live in Raleigh. Andrea Blanford, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. He is a humble officer who has touched so many people. Mm -hmm. Andrea, thanks.